Vancouver Point Grey. Honourable Speaker, I know we're all a little surprised to hear the response to the Hells Angels as family law reform on this side, uh, but I digress. Uh, yesterday, I asked the Minister of Justice if she would take action to attempt to get the necessary technology to help Raymond Salman's widow recover the body of her husband from Harrison Lake. May I remind this House that the Salman family, the family of Sid Neville, who was lost on Francois Lake, and families across BC in similar situations were told by the Minister of Justice to go ask someone else for help. Now it's come to my attention that the RCMP in BC has recently acquired the exact side scan sonar equipment required. They're actually using it to search Little Wilson Lake for the remains of another BC man. My question, Madam Speaker, why is the Minister of Justice refusing to show leadership and coordinate the BC Coroner Service, the RCMP, to use this equipment and bring these loved ones home? Minister of Justice. Madam Speaker, these are tragic cases. And uh, once again, I would like to express my condolences to the families of uh, victims of drowning in British Columbia this summer. Some of them have been found and some of them are not found. And those cases are particularly poignant. Um, police search and rescue teams put significant effort into this to finding the missing persons. Sometimes they succeed and sometimes they do not succeed. And when they don't succeed, it is a very unhappy situation. It is not for me, though, Madam Speaker, to direct the police as to how they undergo their day-to-day -day operations, or their, this, I guess this is not a day-to-day -day operation, this is a more extraordinary operation, but they take great risk, they work very hard, they go back again and again in some circumstances because they too want a successful resolution of these searches. I am not going to tell them how they manage their searches, but I am going to certainly encourage them to continue with them and thank them for the hard work that they do. They put themselves at risk and their own families at risk. They want a resolution the same as everyone else. But it, these are tragic situations, Madam Speaker. Thank you, Minister. Thank you very much. Vancouver, Point Grey. Honourable Speaker, the RCMP has the side scan sonar. It's also come to my attention that BC Hydro has a Seymour 300F robotic camera that can also assist in recovering the remains of these family members lost in deep water. Why are BC families still holding local fundraisers to bring in Americans to do this work on an ad hoc basis? To put it bluntly, Madam Speaker, the equipment and the expertise are available here in BC. The only thing missing is leadership. Will the Minister of Justice commit to coordinating with these agencies? Because if she won't, Madam Speaker, who will? And with the families who have lost these loved ones in BC waters, to use this equipment to recover the remains of these loved ones and bring them home. Minister of Justice. Madam Speaker, it is almost at the point where the member opposite is suggesting that the RCMP themselves are not interested in, in finding, making these recoveries, and that nothing could be further from the truth. They are as interested or, uh, as it's, it's their agency which must do this, these recoveries. They are more interested than I think most of us except for the families themselves. It's they who are out there day to day. It is they who are we're interacting with the families. It's they who want to find the solutions. I am not going to tell individual RCMP detachments or search and rescue people how to manage their affairs. They are the experts. They make the operational decisions. They take these things to heart. And I think the member opposite should be very careful and the way he's framing his questions. They want a resolution. The families want a resolution. We all want a resolution. <laughs> 